Mr. Merkich here and today I'm going to be trying to answer a well asked question and that is how to protect your code um, within your applications which you build. Um, so I'll be trying my best to go over it but at the end of the day people will always find ways to grab your code. Uh, in program form anyway there's not really ways to uh, sort of hide it, you can just make it harder for people to get it. Um, it depends how advanced the person is and how determined they are to really get it but you can protect it. Uh, so what we're going to be using is just uh, I've got an obfuscator here which was free so it's not the best you can't expect too much from free stuff uh, but the reason I'm using it is so I can share it with you and you can use it too. Um, I've been using it a little bit and it's good for uh, confusing your strings and stuff like that because that's really all I care about and because I contain some things within strings. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you this. So what we, what we got here is um, a new form, and I'm just going to add in like a button, uh, just so we get a bit of code within this form. Uh, and inside the button, we'll just have like a message box uh, pop up because that's going to contain a string. And inside here, we can just put anything. Uh, this is just a test. You don't have to do this part. This is just a project for me to show you how it works. You want to actually do this for your own project that you want to protect. Um, so once we've done that, we're just going to go to build and build that. Uh, so that creates it for us. And um, we want to just go over to the debug folder for that and grab the, um, let me refresh that. We want to grab the application file which we just made. And I'm going to copy that into a folder which I made for this video called uh, example. Um, and I've got a program here called NetReflector. Um, now I'm not going to be sh giving a download for this, but this is just a program for me to show you and compare the two once I've uh, encrypted it. So you see the difference. Um, so what I've got here, we're going to grab the file which we just made and drag it in. And I'm going to show you how that looks. So you can um, use a little plus sign here to extend the project and you can go through all the files and check it all. Now you can go through it all if you really wanted. Um, you can see it knows it's only got one button and you can go through and you can see everything. So you can click on the button click that we made and you can see it says message box this is just a test. Now obviously if you had some string which you wanted here which you didn't want to show then you want to protect that. You can see this program anyone can get this program and they drag your project in they can see your code perfectly fine which obviously some people might not want um, so I'll be showing you how to uh, can confuse it uh, and give it a bit more protection than what it would have so what you want to do is uh, download the file from the description which is Phoenix protector and open that up um, once that's opened up what you want to do is grab the file the non encrypted file and just you want to drag it in to this program. Uh, once you've done that you can you want to highlight it and you can press a little settings cog over here and it will bring up this little window here. Now this is where you can select all the information and all the settings for what you want to do with your file. Um, as you can see it will uh, do the strings, the public names, the fields. Um, you can exclude things, um, do properties but that says it shouldn't be so don't do that. Untick that one. Uh, but yeah, this is just a free one, so you can't expect a whole lot of things from it. Usually what I do, I've used this a few times just for testing, and I just use it for the strings, so I just do it like that. But you can tick that, and you can probably keep those two ticked too, and press OK. And once you've done that, you just want to press a little keys down here, and that'll protect it. Now you need to just select an output file, and I'll just go to the example folder and press OK. And that's it already done, it's pretty fast. So you want to come into your folder. Uh, into the protected one. Now this is our new file. So if we just come back into NetReflector and I'll delete this old example because it's got the same name. Uh, if I quickly drag in our new one like so uh, and expand that one uh, immediately you'll see that they've gone from being called the, the file name to just a load of question marks. Now what this does is just confuses it all so we didn't go too advanced with the settings and you can already see how messed up this has gone. Uh, 
I'm not too sure. I've already forgot where the code was for our. Uh, it was here, I believe. So that that was our. This was our message box code. This was our button. So you can see we can still see message box dot show because we hid. We didn't really hide that up. But you can see this was a string that says this is just a test, and now you can see it's just a load of gibberish. Uh, this so it's all confused. Um, people can still see sort of the the base of the code, like they can see where a try it catch statement is, or they can see you use the message box, but they won't be able to see the strings. And I don't think there is a way to actually get the strings back from someone who's trying to get into your code maybe they can get the rest but I'm not sure about strings as they're just a one-time encryption uh, I might be wrong on that but I'm pretty sure I'm not so you can see everything within the code has actually been sort of messed up now they can see sort of the things you just go more advanced in the settings and it will hide even the button one dot text it will hide it all um, yeah so that's it really that's the basic of protecting your code using a simple program um, you can pay money for these programs which they are pretty expensive but you get what you pay for really it will ha if you're making it at all it's probably worth investing in one of these uh, especially the better ones with more reputation and stuff because they are good at what they say they do um, yeah so like I said I'll leave a download for this Phoenix protection in the description and hopefully you can protect your projects a little bit more so if I did if I did help please be sure to leave a like and a comment and 